folks in the house, happy hump day to everyone that's out there. Um, shout out to my subscribers and anyone that uh, takes a view, view at um, any of my videos or goes onto my channel. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, kind of one of those lulls where I was like, yeah, what do I do tonight? Uh, finished watching a movie and kind of was like, yeah, wrap it up kind of. And it's like, not just yet. And so I thought, what the hell, I'll throw a video together. Nothing really, uh, just going to be winging it off the cup, cuff like I usually do for the most part. Um, to go over some movies. I think I'll start with that and then at the end uh, see where I go with this. Hope everybody is having a good day. And uh, decent weather around here, uh, nice and comfortable. I uh, kind of have that sleeping weather. Um, in the evening and today was just I, you know you're working so you don't get to enjoy it as much but uh, yeah it was pretty nice I guess we're supposed to get back into the heat which uh, for the most part you can have so uh, movie talk uh, I'm gonna be all over the board uh, tonight um, gonna start with a romantic comedy uh, The Maid 1991 um, Martin Sheen and Jacqueline Bissett are in this, and uh, it's a good comedy romance. Uh, you'll like it. Is uh, executive uh, decides to get a job, uh, leaves New York, and goes to Paris just because a woman catches his eye, Jacqueline Bissett catches his eye, and I am seeing that I am having the disconnection again. I do not know what's up with that. I hadn't had in the last three or four videos, so my apologies on this. I may have to stop doing live videos. Um, I'm seeing that these are occurring more often. I didn't have the problem. I don't know. I guess a lot of people on the internet uh, is going on there. So if you see disconnection, apologize for that. Um, again, something that I hadn't had problems with, but uh, lately uh, that's been picking up. So see how this video goes, see how bad it gets with uh, interruptions. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, again, the made 1991 decent movie. Uh, it's it's a, a family movie to watch, so I'll uh, give you that. Next one, I'm uh, going to go uh, Fantasy. Um, Wave, Wyvern. Um, and uh, Mr. Jeff Johnson, how you doing, sir? Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, more or less uh, just letting you know. Here in those. I guess uh, I'm getting, I'm not the only one uh, per Mr. Johnson. So uh, thanks for the heads up. And so uh, my next uh, movie is Waverin, um, 2009. Basically a modern day uh, dragon movie. And I think it holds it on. I, I kind of have this as a surprise movie. Um, it does its job for uh, modern day. Um, it isn't over the top with special effects or anything like that, but it, it does the job. It, it's one of those movies that you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. Kind of going in, and yeah, what do we got? You know, chance of it being good, but it ended up being a decent movie. Uh, so I recommend that. It was 2009. Uh, Nick Chinland and Eric Car Carpluck uh, are in this movie. Um Next one is a family movie, and this one I almost hope that whoever is a subscriber and maybe knows some kids, I didn't care for this movie. And it was cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And this, it got decent ratings. I was like, yeah, not so much. I wasn't that impressed. Um, so if any of my subscribers have some kids that have seen this movie... I would love them to tell me I'm wrong or what, it, because Cloudy with a Chance uh, It was 2009, Bill Hader and Anna Ferris, 
uh, was in this movie. And uh, I don't know. It just, <laughs> I, I, it's something to watch, but I, I didn't have it as, um, you know, kind of a, hey, this is a great movie. So, yeah. And even if you, you're an adult and you've seen it and you want to throw your two cents in, please. But I would love to get a, a comment from uh, any kids out there. It would be great. Uh, my last movie that I streamed is called Drone. Uh, Sean Bean and Patrick Sun Bungo, Bungyu. I hope I said that right. Um, 2017. This is somewhat of a dry movie. Um, if you're looking just for drama, I guess I'll give it to you on that. Um, a lot of story or story buildup, putting together the story, I guess I want to say. Um, 2017, It to me, it needed a little more to get it over the hump kind of thing. Otherwise, it, it, it's kind of dry a little bit. I think it is dry, uh, a dry movie to watch. Um, I guess kind of a little disappointed uh, in it. Um, there is a story, uh, but uh, just again, it a little long in the tooth, I guess you want to say. And then my last uh, for a DVD movie, I did a uh, shadow boxer with Cuban Gooding Jr. Um, basically a hitman, and uh, so I want to say it's dark it is a dark movie um there is a little gore to it uh some violence uh same with uh waver waveren waveren uh that does have some uh uh gore to it also but uh shadow boxer uh a paid assassin and it it's got a bizarre kind of dark story for a drama uh, action drama, but it does a good job. Um, there again, there's, there are some bizarre scenes in the movie, but otherwise, uh, that's movie talk and I'm not sure where I'm going to go for a couple minutes here. So, um, sports, not impressed. If I, I, I can throw that out right now, whoever's thinking what they're watching is they need it. I don't know. i I have not paid attention. Don't, I mean, if anything, just seeing people dropping out with COVID, um, teams having it. Uh, when you have, I think it was Florida Marlins. That's, you, you got, it's like, that's a team that's disqualified almost. You know, it's like, why? Um, it's just, it, and then basketball. That's kind of hilarious. Um, I haven't I, I haven't watched anything, and I'm I'm saying I'm not missing anything. I'm not, um, you know, before I was professional sports wasn't the greatest for me. Um, kind of going on the downturn. You get to you know, for me, I got to see some Super Bowls that I wanted to, and so I'm happy with that. And but. Yeah, not not impressed with what's going on. I think it is just shut it down and try to get this fixed. I think there's an NFL player today that uh, opted out, and he made a point. He goes, you know, the governor hasn't figured this out yet or has anything in play, and, and this guy opted out, and it's like, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, wait until there's something, you know, solid, concrete on where things are. But this is still kind of a guessing game, and for me, sports – um, right now you're just seeing something that it, it, it's all about money right now. And that's, it's, it, it's their health. I mean, Hey, what the heck? Um, I I guess I'm being told, uh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's giving me the, uh, bucks were, uh, 19 point favorites and, uh, got beat by the nets. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's like, why, who cares, what, and then uh, I'm being told the Brewers beat the White Sox tonight, I think, one to nothing. Uh, again, nothing, it, I don't know, for the Brewers, I guess Lorenzo Cain, you know, he opted out, 
And to me, I mean, if you have like an all-star player that's not going to play, I mean, I again, it's that's the way the game's going to be. That's, I guess, the new way things are. Um, but when a team has to have 18 new players, possibly, and I, I something I just saw. So don't. I mean, I'm not saying that's official. I could be wrong. Um, even if it's you know. Oh, once you get past six or seven players that you're replacing on a team, that doesn't make sense. I, I just, whatever. And then college football, I, I saw some Connecticut quit their uh, uh, um, pro football program. And so it's like, you are, that's a, you know, a division one team. And so now that throws a monkey in the wrench in college football a little bit. Um, so, yeah, be curious on where football goes. There's a lot of football players that have opted out. They may be not starters, but they're, you know, you're, you're, you know, you have it in the trenches, uh, those kind of players. So um, that's about it for sports talk. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, Mr. Kane was smart. Um, health before uh, sports or you know, the dollar, I guess you want to say, um, come back another day to fight. Um, who knows? Maybe this is, you know, <laughs> the last hurrah for baseball and football and things are going to be changing. I uh, see what, where it goes. Uh, what else? Uh, saw the, I mean, it, that, that Beirut uh, blast, that was pretty intense or crazy seeing that. Um, so that was something a little different to see. Otherwise, yeah. Um, again, a video that I decided to put together last minute and throw it out there. Um, trying to see what else I can talk about. Keep, yeah, like I said, not doing much tonight. So, um, I guess, yeah, I went over to my mother's and she made, I have a uh, friend, uh, Maria and Mark. Uh, Maria gave her a Chinese cashew casserole dish. Um, and my mom had this recipe that she was given years ago from my friend. And she decided to make it and uh, ended up being, I'm not a casserole person. I, I am. There's some that I'm all right with, but. There's some that, as I'm getting older, I guess I'm handling them better. Uh, but this ended up uh, being decent. It was good. Uh, my mom made it without uh, the cashews on top. Um, but it, it, it still ended up being all right. Uh, it was good. But uh, my lady friend was like, I sent a picture and a, a chat. And she's like, wow, I don't, I, I don't even know if I have that recipe. So I may have to send her uh, a copy of it just so she has it. Uh, <laughs> the explosion was wild for the right. <laughs> oh, Jeff, Jeff, the right, the wrong. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> oh, bye. Um, what else? Um, my flowers took a beating. We had a, a rainstorm the other night, and I don't know if they're going to come back or not. Uh, see what happens. Um, hopefully, a couple dry days uh, kind of uh, brings them back. But they got a pretty good, decent beat down um, the other night, and uh, it's been two days, and it's like, yeah, this could be my flowers are so. That's about it, and uh, gonna wrap it up. It was nice talking, and again, uh, every once in a while, I'll get on the bandwagon on something, but uh, try not to. I kind of want to have the video to be something that's like, hey, let's just check out some, you know, I guess <laughs> something that isn't uh, aggravating to people. If anything, it's like, oh my god, how's he watching those movies? And I'm still waiting for people to make some comments on. Some of the bad movies I uh, have uh, reviewed um, and get a kick out of it. And I have no problem if you guys want to bash me, go for it. Uh, these times, I think people just want to 
blow off some steam probably. So uh, <laughs> take it easy, uh, Mr. Johnson, and uh, be safe out there. And everybody else, be safe. Wrap up the video. And again, uh, thank everybody that watches. I appreciate it. And uh, trying to have, uh, it, again, crazy world. Uh, I got to start uh, using that a little more uh, in my uh, videos. It is a crazy world out there, people. And who knows where this is going. Um, I kind of just wish there would be some answers. And right now, it's all, it's, I don't know. I don't have a fact yet. And the vaccine thing, that's just, it's like they almost feel like they're rolling that out. Like, you know, breakfast burritos or something or breakfast, uh, you know, McDonald's breakfast. I just not too eager on that right now. Um, I know they're trying to do their job, but I, and just how things are. Hope somebody figures it out. Um, I hope countries that don't get along realize that they have to work together right now and put a lot aside their ill feelings towards one another. Um, and that goes for anybody. I hope people realize, hey, we don't need to be bashing people, judging people. Uh, I, I can be a hypocrite about that myself, so um, I wish I wasn't. Uh, I do enjoy, you know, you're able to say hi to somebody that doesn't expect it. It, it kind of, you can see when it makes their day a little bit. Um, talk to somebody that you usually don't and just say hi. You don't have to have a conversation. Um, just have a say hello and that's about it. Walk away. And if you want to stay for uh, issues, just just stay on a, you know, welcome kind of uh, part of things. It isn't, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of opinions out there, left and right, and everybody knows about opinions. Um, so, Including myself, um, hey, I don't, uh, no rocket scientist, and uh, but uh, there's rocket scientists out there that uh, also, you know, <laughs> whatever. And that's about it. Like I say, I just went in those evenings that talk out a little bit for the people, and um, I hope everybody's getting to enjoy some good weather and maybe getting a break from the heat. Um, and then, uh, hey, if anybody uh, is not from the United States that ends up watching my video, uh, throw a shout out where you're from. I'd love it. Um, it would be kind of nice. Trying to get some people to watch, uh, get my viewership up. I'm not sure on how <laughs> it's not it's not going so good. So, wouldn't mind to get a couple of subscribers going on here, but uh, do what we can and. Thanks for the talk, chit-chat, and uh, take it easy, everybody.